the CDC issuing new guidance on outdoor mask use for fully vaccinated Americans. People can now unmask at small outdoor gatherings or when dining outside with friends from multiple households. But there are rules that still apply to everyone vaccinated or not. So we want to bring in an expert to help us better understand this new arena. Dr. Peter Barquette from Kaiser Permanente joins us now to help us break this all down. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jamie and Hannah. All right, so let's dive right in. First question, and this has been a hot button topic the past couple of days. Uh, there are people who've received their first dose, but they've chosen not to get their second dose. So, doctor, what do you think about this trend? Well, it is a hot button issue, and I tell my patients the same thing I tell my family members, and that is the second dose is, is really important. What we know from the studies is that after one dose of a two-dose vaccine. A couple weeks later, you have about 50% immunity. But after the second dose, about two to three weeks later, that's when you get over 90%. And so it's really important. And these can be difficult conversations, but for, for our viewers who may have questions whether or not they should go forward, I encourage them to talk to their healthcare providers. If they had any trouble with the first dose, there are a lot of things that we can do to, to make the second dose go better. And that's what I'm seeing in, in my clinic is there are things you can do to mitigate symptoms and side effects. Doctor, as we know, young children are doing more recess outside at schools. Of course, high schoolers are back on campus as well. So what is your recommendation when it comes to kids and masks in light of the CDC loosening those restric restrictions on masks when people are outside? Yeah, I think it really depends on your layers of protection. And what we've learned over the course of more than a year is that there are things we can do to protect ourselves. Vaccines being one of the, the most, really the most powerful uh, protective layer that we have. But there are other things too, like ventilation, like hand washing, like masks. And so if you're outside and, and you're socially distanced and you're by yourself, then it's okay to take down the mask if you're going for a walk or going for a run. But if you're around others, it's still important to have that mask on, especially if yourself or those you're around uh, may not be vaccinated fully. And doctor, this isn't something that we talk about a lot, but we do know that there are people out there who have made the decision to not get vaccinated. Uh, I know some local parents who've told me that they will not be vaccinated, their children will not be vaccinated. Uh, they just don't think that it's a necessary solution for their family. And I know that they're not alone in their stance. So there is a divide. What's your take on this? Well, I'm not out to force anyone to do something that they're opposed to doing, but I do think that vaccines are really important for protecting ourselves and those around us. We know that those who get their vaccine are unlikely to have a serious case of COVID and they're less likely to transmit COVID, very unlikely to transmit it to their friends, family, coworkers. And so for all those people who took the a first look at vaccines and said, no, it's not for me, not yet, I encourage them to pay attention to the data and to keep thinking about it. And the nice thing about vaccines is you have a second chance. Um, you know, in, in golf, I take a mulligan. Um, and uh, when it comes to vaccines, you can always change your mind and come on in and, and we'd love to have you. All right. Well, Dr. Peter Barkett from Kaiser Permanente, thank you so much for your insight and your time this afternoon. Thanks for having me. We